Right, so small boat crossings across the channel, always in the news, always causing the frothing hard right to complain about asylum seekers, blasted migrants and the like. Find fault, and as we've unfortunately seen in Knowsley in the last week, such rhetoric from government and the media eventually spills into rioting, plays into the hands of those who get their rocks off by punching down on those less fortunate, indulge their own racist, hate-filled beliefs as disgusting creatures like patriotic alternative feed off of. Attacking a hotel housing asylum seekers who have done nothing except claim their right to asylum, free to do so, having gotten here by whatever means they could, no legal route existing, is depraved. And if I could deport anyone, it's those belonging to such groups and those encouraging them with their hate speech. I want to live in an inclusive country. We've been a multicultural nation for decades. It's time this divisiveness was stamped out, that people grew up, and that begins at the top with members of this Tory government. At any rate, as much as the simple-minded hard-right gammons are easily fooled into thinking someone from abroad is their enemy and that they should be sent back where they came from, that they should go back to the last safe country they left, they can't be, even if we wanted to. And guess what caused it? Boris Johnson's oven-ready turkey of a Brexit deal. Yes, folks, his false promise, his lie of a deal, his claim of Brexit freedoms, which saw him win a huge majority in 2019, has, in a report by Durham University, been shown to be a leading cause of increased small boat crossings because the Brexit deal was a shambles and so many aspects of what it meant to leave the EU were not addressed. And one of those was departing from the Dublin 3 regulation, often referred to as the Dublin Convention, though that was actually the name of an earlier and now outdated form of, well, basically the same thing. The Dublin 3 regulation is a piece of EU legislation that covers where asylum seekers should go once they've claimed asylum within an EU country or a non-EU country that has signed up to the Schengen Rules on Open Borders. Effectively, the responsibility of where an asylum seeker is eventually settled is shared out amongst member states. When we Brexited, we left this regulation, and we have never, of course, signed up to Schengen. What we've actually done on this issue is absolutely nothing. It caught the Tories completely by surprise, apparently. The useless amateurs caught by surprise my foot, incidentally, since they'd been warned about the need for a new agreement since 2016, and they just ignored it instead. But by doing nothing, it means we cannot send asylum seekers back to any other Dublin 3 regulation aligned country anymore, which is what we used to be able to do. We took asylum seekers here as part of our fair share across that regulation area, but we're on the outside now. And any migrants coming here are staying here if their asylum claims are successful. It means the UK is a place an asylum seeker can go to and guaranteed to be housed in should their asylum application succeed. And as such, that has seen increased numbers of asylum seekers coming here. All because no returns policy for migrants was ever implemented as part of the Brexit deal. And we currently don't have one. For all the nastiness and the talks of deportations, the speeches about illegal migration having to stop, the one thing Sunak and his wicked bunch of Tories have all ignored is the fact we're in this mess because of their failure to negotiate and replace our exit from this regulation. The Brexit freedoms Boris Johnson beat the Brexit drum about have turned out to be freedom to take on even more asylum seekers here than ever before. The small boats crisis is an entirely Conservative Party inflicted problem. They brought it on themselves and therefore us. And their answer for months has been to try and dispose of these people by any means possible, turning them around in the channel or sending them to Rwanda. But the boats will keep on coming when the UK is a guaranteed new home for a success successful application for asylum. So can the situation be fixed? Of course it can. But it requires the government to admit the Brexit deal was anything but up and ready was a complete balls up and pledged to fix it. Adam admit to having cocked up rather than just heap cruelty on many people who have seen enough of that to last a lifetime. It is fixing too, as the same Durham University report expects the number of people crossing the channel to rise from 45,000 for 2022 to 80,000 this year. The driving cause of boat crossings is the lack of a replacement framework for the Dublin 3 regulation covering the UK. This is an EU system and requ would require either rejoining the EU to access, or join the Schengen area, which would have Brexiteers having aneurysms up and down the country if we suddenly chose to abolish border control completely. Clearly, there needs to be something new negotiated with the EU here, a new post-Brexit returns agreement. Deporting people won't work if they just come back. More are expected to come, deeming asylum invalid if coming by an illegal route violates the Human Rights Convention, and despite a legal case from the Tories to challenge that, the government is bound to lose it. They'd rather remove us from that convention and strip all of us of our human rights, in fact, than admit they, the Tories, whilst in power, 
created this problem themselves, forcing them into a corner on this issue, making Tory MPs face up to a problem they created, something they're desperately avoiding since they can't afford any more political fallout. They can't afford to slide further in the polls. Yet this is key to addressing this problem in a way that will actually reduce or completely stop the appeal to desperate people of risking their lives to get here by boat. Until the Tories do so, they're just dodging the issue, whilst using it as an excuse to strip us of more of our rights, never mind those of asylum seekers. And meanwhile, those boats will keep on coming. Remember this next time you hear a Tory MP talk about the pressing issue of illegal migration. It's a problem they created themselves.